Here we have corn that is in the world stage. This is the point in time when we scout it for first generation southwestern corn borers. They lay their eggs on the foliage of the plant, and then as these eggs hatch out, the larvae move to the center of the world to feed, and uh, this is the kind of feeding damage we have on this plant here. And uh, to determine what type of larvae it is, often the world needs to be removed and examined to see whether the larvae is a corn earworm, fall armyworm, or southwestern corn borer, or even European corn borer, which we have in this area. So, one of the easiest things to do is pull the whirl out and unravel it and see if we can trace and find the larvae feeding in the center. Okay, the larvae tend to cause this kind of feeding on the uh, corn leaf and you'll get these longitudinal uh, stripes in the leaf where just one layer of cells is left and if you hold it up to the sunlight, you can see light through this area. Occasionally, we will have this similar type feeding from fall armyworm, but typically it's much more ragged looking and uh, uh, just looks like a lot more of the foliage has been consumed. So if you don't find one in the world, you need to move lower on the plant and see if you can sign signs of where it went into the stock. And on this plant, I'll go ahead and cut it off so we can see. As you slice this stock, you'll be able to see the tunnel inside of the stock. And often, the bore will be found. By close examination, you'll be able to determine whether it is a European corn bore, a southwestern corn bore, or one of the other boar species found in the lower Rio Grande Valley. So as you are walking through the field, even though it may not be the plant that you're checking in your check, because typically in a check site we look at around 20 plants, go ahead and stop and look at that plant to determine what kind of larvae is causing that feeding. Is it a corn earworm, fall armyworm, southwestern corn borer, European corn borer, or one of the other corn pests that we find in, in the uh, world? So stop and examine that plant, even though it may not be part of your standard check, just to see that you can uh, uh, find out what it is and report this to the farmer uh, that he does have these present in the field, although it may be below a, uh, an economic treatment and fall out of the range of your normal sampling.